Thank you, we bless your name this morning. Thank you for the privilege to be in your presence. I ask of your anointing. I ask of your Holy Spirit, even as we break this brand in Jesus' mighty name. This morning, there is a word. Ambaro mungu ameweka ndani ya moyo wangu ambalo naenda kushiriki pamoja nanyi ambalo ni neno langu na pia ni neno lako and the uh, message is entitled um, spiritual training mafundisho ya kiungu spiritual training there are different kind of training kuna mafundisho ya aina mingi sana Kuna mafundisho ambayo watu wanafundishwa ama watu wanajifundisha kwa sababu ya taji kama vile ambavyo Paul anasema in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 25 Mafundisho ambayo ni mafundisho ya taji 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 25 the bible saying everyone who compete in the game goes into strict training yule ambaye anaenda kwenye mashindano ya michezo either ni kadada ama ni liadha lazima aende ama lazima akue kwenye mafundisho and Paul saying strict training and the bible saying they do it to get a crown that will not last sababu ya kuenda katika yale mafundisho ni kwa sababu kuna taji ambayo iko mbele na kwa hivyo wanapitia ama wanakuwa katika mafundisho and so kuna mafundisho ambayo ni mafundisho ya taji na pia kuna mafundisho yengine ambayo ni mafundisho ya ulinzi training or protection and uh, in our nation kuna vikosi vya vya ulinzi and uh, one ya KDF ambayo inalinda taifa la Kenya na KDF lazima wawe kwenye training na katika training ile wanafundishwa jinsi ambavyo watalinda taifa mali na pia watu wa jamhuri ya Kenya the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 22 and verse 6 Proverbs 22 and verse 6 Train a child in the way he should go Mfundishe mtoto wako ile jia ambayo anastahili kuenda Sababu gani When he is old he will not turn from eight. Meaning ya kwamba kama unataka mtoto wako awe na ulinzi na mambo ya ufalme wa giza na raha za dunia zisiwe katika maisha yake. Lazima ufundishe. Lazima umpitishie kwenye training. Mpatie mafundisho ambayo itamlinda na siku ambayo watakuwa mkubwa hawezi kuanguka hawezi kuingia katika mambo yale meaning ile training 
ambayo unapatia mtoto wako itamsaidia itamsimamisha itampatia ulinzi so kuna mafundisho ambayo ni ya ulinzi kuna mafundisho ya nguvu training of power kwa sababu gani kwa sababu ya kuongea na kuna watu ambao wanaongea maybe for example politician na wakati ambapo wanaongea wanaongea wakiwa na nguvu unapofanya research unapata kwamba hawa watu wamekuwa kwenye training wanafundishwa jinsi ambavyo wataongea na wakati ambapo wanaongea wanaongea na nguvu juzi kwenye runinga tuliona mwalimu ambaye alifundisha president of the republic of kenya uhuru kenyata wakati ambapo aliingia kwenye politics hakuwa mzuri sana katika kuongea either ni Kiswahili na kwa hivyo alipitia kwenye mafundisho ili anapoongea ile speech zake zinakuwa na nguvu people of god we need a spiritual training ili wakati ambapo tunaongea hatuongei maneno ambayo hayana nguvu lakini ni maneno ambayo yako na nguvu ambayo yanafanya kazi ukiona mtu ambaye anaongea maneno ambayo yako na nguvu huyu amepitia kwenye mafundisho the bible says in the book of act 7 and verse 20 act chapter 7 and verse 20 kitabu cha act the bible say at that time Moses was born and he was no ordinary child for three months he was cared for in his father's house when he was praised outside for our daughter took him and brought him up as her own son the bible say Moses was educated trained in all the wisdom of the egyptian and was powerful in speech and action moses even though he was a stammerer lakini alikuwa na nguvu ya usemi and the reason was he was educated If you are not educated even through the Holy Spirit na kufundishe vile ambavyo utaongea vile ambavyo utasema either ni mbele ya watu either ni mbele ya umati kuna watu ambao wanashindwa Exodus chapter 7 and verse 1 Exodus chapter 7 and verse 1. And the Bible says then the Lord said to Moses, See, I have made you like God to Pharaoh, and your brother Aaron will be your prophet. Huyu ni Mungu anaongea na Moses. Anamwambia kwamba I have made you. I have created you. I have shaped you. I have manufactured you. I have trained you to be like God. To Pharaoh and your brother Aaron will be your prophet. People of God, do you allow God to train you to be like God? Do you allow God to train you so that you can act like God. And verse 2. Look at this. When you go for spiritual training, 
Mungu akufundishe anakuambia kwamba usinene mambo yako sema yale ambao mimi mwenyewe nimekupatia ama nimeyasema because spiritual training i've created you i made you it's a training you are to say everything i command you everything i command you ndio ambaye utakayosema people of god and that is the reason why the bible say the moses was educated trained and he was powerful in speech today there are people who are powerless in speech listen is wanaongea mambo yao sio vile ambavyo mungu amesema hawa ni watu ambao wanaongea kushindwa lakini swali ni nani ambaye amesema Mungu hajasema kushindwa lakini wewe unaongea kushindwa people of god when we allow god to train us na tuwe katika mafundisho kutafundishwa jinsi ya kuongea jinsi ambavyo tutakavyosema in the midst of troubles kuna vile ambavyo roho mtakatifu amenifundisha kusema and i will say like david you are my god naposema vile ni vile ambavyo nimefundishwa lakini kuna watu ambao in the midst ya shida wanasema mambo yao mimi sioni nikimaliza hii. Sijui kama nitaweza. Ni training gani ambayo ulienda? I pray today that Roho Mtakatifu atufundishe vile ambavyo tutaongea. And finally, kuna mafundisho ya kufuatilia to pursue. Kwa sababu kuna vitu ambazo tulikuwa nazo ama tunakuwa nazo and then baadaye zina zinachukuliwa even na nation kuna kikosi ambayo inaitwa anti stock theft unit hii ni kikosi is a, a department katika polisi na kazi yao ni kufuatilia mifugo ambayo yamechukuliwa ama ama yameimbiwa yameimbi, yame Yesu wanafundishwa wa jinsi ambavyo watafuatilia vitu zikiimbiwa people of god kuna watu ambao walikuwa na vitu and today hawana walikuwa na kazi today hawana walikuwa na biashara walikuwa na mali watoto familia amani protection but today They don't have people of God we need a spiritual training kupitia roho mtakatifu akusaidie na anisaidie jinsi ambavyo nitakafuatilia ile furaha zile vitu ambazo huduma ambazo nilikuwa nazo in the book of Genesis 14 and verse 14 Mwanzo Genesis 14 verse 14 and verse 14 Genesis 14 verse 14 the bible saying When Abraham heard that his relative has been taken captive he called out the 318 trained men born in his household and he went in pursued as far as then during the night abraham divided his men to attack them and he looted them pursuing them as far as hoda north of damascus he recovered all the goods and brought back his relative lot and his possession together with the women and other, and the other people 
people of God there is a training that we need to pursue our families to pursue joy to pursue happiness even in our life and even resources in our life the people of God hatuwezi kufuatilia if we don't have a training the bible tells me that abraham alipoambiwa kwamba nephew yake lot ameweza kushikwa mateka na pia vitu zote zimeenda na mpaka watoto wameenda the bible says alita watu ama wale watu ambao aliopatia kazi ni wale watu ambao wako na mafundisho trained 318 and the bible says usiku aliweza kuwapanga jinsi ambavyo watafuatilia na kufuatilia yale mafundisho the bible say they recovered all people of god today kupitia roho mtakatifu na mafundisho ya roho mtakatifu I want to declare today that we are going to recover all in the name of Jesus. May God give unto us spiritual training ili tuweze kulinda watoto wetu. People of God, we are living in the days of evil. We are living in the days of evil. And people of God, without spiritual training, hatuwezi kulinda watoto wetu. And our eyes can see. Yale mambo ambayo wanafanya ni mambo ambayo yanatisha. Watoto wa 14 years, 18 years wamekuwa ni kama watu wazima wanaweza kalia kreti ya pombe na wacheze nayo na bado wako bado sawa tu ni kama bado eh people of god we are living in the days of evil and unless we pray to god teach me lord train me lord vile ambavyo nitalinda watoto wangu we need spiritual training to be powerful in speech in action Mungu atufundishe jinsi ambavyo nitakavyoongea People of God I know the days that we are living in Kuna hatari mingi sana Mambo mengi sana ambayo yanaendelea Isipokuwa roho wa Mungu atufundishe Kuna mambo ambayo tunaweza ongea ambayo hayana nguvu sababu so our eyes can see Psalm 144 and verse 1 The Bible says Praise be to the Lord my rock is David who trains my hand for war my finger for battles Huyu ni David anamuinua Mungu Nasema to go beyond the glory Maana huyu Mungu amenifundisha amefundisha mikono yangu kwa vita the people of God David was a man of war Na David alipigana vita mingi sana Na kuna vita hata moja ambayo David alipigana akashindwa And that is the reason and this is a secret in Psalm 144 and verse 1 Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu Mungu alimfundisha mikono yake kuweza kupigana vita People of God We are surrounded by people ambao they don't wish us mazuri success victory they plot evil tunazungukwa kwa 
kwenye huduma kama hii tumezungukwa na waovu tumezungukwa na watu wambaya people of god kuna biashara umezungukwa na watu wambaya umezungukwa na waovu umezungukwa na wachawi na watu ambao wanatembea usiku wakiwa uchi we are surrounded watoto wetu we are surrounded our families our ministry we are surrounded and people of god kama tunaweza kukosa mafundisho ambayo itatupatia nguvu this is my prayer kwa sababu tusiwe watu ambao ni wakushindwa Psalm 21 and Psalm 21 and verse 11 Psalm 21 and verse 11 Psalm 21 Psalm Zaburi 21 and verse 11 Zaburi 21 and verse 11 Bible saying Though they prod evil against you and devise a wicked scheme they cannot succeed and the reason why they won't succeed ni kwa sababu kuna mafundisho ambayo nimefundishwa ni mafundisho ya kupigana vita Mungu amefundisha mikono yangu kupigana vita na vita mzuri people of god david hata zile vita ambazo alipangiwa as he say in this verse ya kwamba alipangiwa mabaya they plot evil do you know how many people plot evil hata wakati ambao umelala kuna vile ambavyo unasimama kwenye marango yako wakati ambapo biashara yako umeifunga umeenda nyumbani kuna vile ambavyo kwenye marango wanasimama they plot evil against you and plan wicked scheme people of god they plot evil against your children but the bible saying they cannot succeed kuna yule ambaye anatupatia mafundisho na tunapigana vita zote na tunashinda katika jina la Yesu na kutabiria siku ya leo ya kwamba vita zote utashinda katika jina la Yesu. Hautashindwa in the mighty name of Jesus. Huyu Mungu atakufundisha jinsi ambavyo utapigana vita zote in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 140 and verse 1 and verse 8. Hakuna pahali ambapo hakuna vita na chochote ambacho watu wa Mungu tunafanya na tunatenda ni vyema kuweza kujua kwamba kuna ufalme ambao unajaribu kuzuilia unajaribu kupinga but to go beyond the glory ambaye anatufundisha jinsi ambavyo tutapigana vita zote the bible says Psalm 140 in verse 1 Rescue me O Lord from evil men Protect me from men from men of violence Huyu ni David Anaomba Mungu kupitia mafundisho Amejua kwamba jinsi atakavyo simama na ku na kufaulu kwa wale watu ambao ni watu wenye fujo ni kumlilia Bwana na kuomba Mungu I'm saidie and I pray rescue me oh lord from evil protect me from men of violence people of god kuna watu ambao ni watu wa fujo na tumezungukwa umezungukwa na watu wa fujo unless mungu anifundishe jinsi ambavyo nitakapopigana vita hii siwezi next verse who devise evil plan 
in their heart and stir up war every day. Watu wa fujo. And the Bible says, kila siku wana koroga vita sila siku. People of God, tumezunguku wana watu wambao kila siku wana koroga vita. Mana watu ni, mana ni watu wa vita. Can I tell you today ya kwamba kila mara kunapokuwa na vita unless Mungu akusaidie na ushinde vita unaweza poteza mali yako yote unaweza poteza amani unaweza poteza everything it is the grace of god and today people of god kuna watu ambao wamepoteza in the name of the fight unless Mungu akusaidie jinsi ambavyo utapigana vita and people of god let me tell you today ya kwamba roho mtakatifu atakusaidia na atakufundisha jinsi ambavyo utakapovigana vita kuna vita zingine watu wa Mungu Hatustahili kupigana. Kuna vit, vita zingine tunastahili mafundisho. Na maybe I say maybe mafundisho ambayo nitakapokea ni ya kuhama. Yes. Reason is kuna vita zingine si kwa sababu hauwezi ama Mungu anaweza kushindwa. Lakini kuna mafundisho mengine ambayo Roho Mtakatifu atakusaidia akwambie hapa uzikae hapa hama The Bible says Yesu alipozaliwa kulikuwa na mfalme Herod And the Bible says akasikia kwamba Yesu mfalme wa wafalme amezaliwa na ni mwana wa Mungu na ni mwokozi wa maisha yetu lakini mfalme akazikia kwamba amezaliwa kaambia wale ambao ni the mark and then na mkimpata mkuja ni muniambie nenda ni muabudu lakini nia yake hakuwa aende amwabudu ilikuwa ni kumaliza yeye people of god i think it is in the chapter matthew chapter 2 and it was that thing the bible saying when they had gone an angel of the lord appeared to joseph in a dream get up he said take child is a training roho wa mungu anamwambia hii vita sio vita ukae hapa upigane a a hii ni vita ya kuhama chukua mtoto na muondoke mahali hapa he said get up he said take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt stay there until i tell you yule ni mtu ambaye amekaa kwenye darasa anapokea mafundisho vile ambavyo mafundisho ya ulinzi naambiwa hama people of god kama kuna mafundisho ambayo utapokea kuhama hama people of god kuna misingi mingine Unaweza kwenda kwenye biashara fulani uanze biashara pale fulani na hujui ni msingi gani uko pale and then uingie pale uanze kufanya biashara and then baadaye unaanza kupigana vita zingine ambazo hauna habari maana misingi pale ni misingi mbaya haujui ni kitu gani ambayo kilifanywa pale Mungu anaweza lakini training ambayo ni ya kiungu inakuambia toka hapa hapa si mchezo hii maro iko hapa hii ni ya kumaliza my friend na itamaliza hii kazi itamaliza ndoa hii si mchezo people of god kuna mafundisho ambayo tunaweza kupokea ya kuhama Unaweza ukaingia kwa nyumba fulani. And then baadaye haulali. Watoto hawarali ni vita. My 
malaika wa Mungu akaambia Mother of Jesus Hama and the Bible say walipo Hama waliweza kushinda ile vita People of God we are surrounded na watu ambao ni waovu watu ambao wanangojea mwanguko unless I say unless God train me vile ambavyo vita hii nitapigana nayo siwezi people of god mafundisho ambayo tunapokea kama itaturuhusu watu wengine tuwatoe in our life afadhali tuwatoe in our life kama hiyo ndiyo jinsi ambavyo nitapata ushindi na watoke in my life that i may experience revival that i may experience the grace and the goodness of god people of god we are surrounded by evil men we are surrounded by evil men na kazi yao ni kuwa boat even the plan of god in our life and people of god tutapokuwa tukipigana vita hii kama litapokea mafundisho ya kuwatoa in my life i have no otherwise the bible says in the book of revelation 12 revelation 12 revelation 12 number 7 the bible says and there was a war in heaven yani vita ilianzia mbinguni hii ilikuwa ni vita ya kwanza vita ya kwanza ilianza mbinguni and the bible say mika and his angel fought against the dragon and the dragon and his angels fought back ilikuwa ni vita ambayo ilikuwa kali sana na ilikuwa ni pande mbili na upande wa mika na upande mwingine wa prince of the prince of the air and the next verse but he was not strong enough and they lost place in heaven katika ile vita the bible saying shetani alipoteza nafasi katika mbingu and the reason was shetani alikuwa anazuia the plan of god the plan of creation and there was no otherwise maana alikuwa nisumbua kukaa na yeye mbinguni ilikuwa ni shida angeendelea kuzuia into a boat into prolivo and the bible say walipopigana wakapigana wakapigana and then baadaye the solution was kumuondoa mbinguni and the next verse the bible say the great dragon was held down kwa Kiswahili ni kuvurushwa. Shetani alivurushwa chini. People of God. We are in a battle. Kuna maroho na kuna watu ambao ni maagent ya kazi ambayo tunafanya. And people of God, kama mafundisho is to hold them out of our life. May it be so. If that is the only way I will see God. If that is the only way I will experience victory, may it be so. People of God. Tunapigana na maroho. Tunapigana na watu ambao wanazuia ile kazi ambayo tunafanya. Kuna watu ambao hatuwezi kuwaweka in our life. People of God. Kuna watu ambao ustahili kuweka katika maisha ni mwako katika ndoa yako kuna watu ambao hustahili kuweka kwenye biashara yako the moment umewaweka in your business wanazidi kujaribu kuzuia pale tulikuwa Psalm 140 verse 1 again Psalm 140 and verse 1 again 
Psalm 140. Rescue me, Lord, from evil men. Protect me from men of violence. Who devise evil plan in their heart and stir up war every day. Next. Look at this. They make their tongues as sharp as a serpent. The poison of vapor is on their lips. People of God, kuna watu ambao na tuzunguka. Kinywa chao ni makali kama kama nyoka like a serpent. Wanaponena wananena sumu maneno mabaya ya kumaliza you know kuna watu ambao wakiongea and they speak against you hakuna kitu ambao wanaongea kizuri chako you know kuna watu ambao wanakuzunguka yani hata ufanye nini hata uvae nguo na mna gani ama uko smart they, they don't see there's nothing good ambayo wanaweza kuona kizuri yani watu ambao walikuwa wamezunguka david but david say to go be all the glory ambaye amefundisha mikono yangu vita jinsi ambavyo litadili na waha watu ambao wanagojea dianguke ha watu ambao wananena maovu wananena sumu people of god i believe today if god can reveal to us yale maneno ambayo yanashemwa na watu and some of them they are dear to us. Some of them, we hug them. Some of them, we shake their hands. And some of them, even we sacrifice for them. Lakini wakati ambapo tumeachana, huo ndio wakati ambao wanaanza kusema, naonge muona. Ngojea. Taona bila mbavyo taanguka. People of God, unless Mungu atusaidie, Atupatie mafundisho mafundisho ya kiungu vile ambavyo tutaficha maisha yetu tuficha huduma zetu tuficha biashara zetu kuna watu ambao they are genest the bible says Moses alipozaliwa alizaliwa kukiwa na mpango mzuri and the Bible says, kulikuwa na mpango wa shetani. And there was a king by that time, King Pharaoh. And the Bible says, and he ordered vijana wote wa uawe, lakini wasichana wacha waishi. And the Bible says, wazazi wakajua hii ni vita. Hii ni vita. You know kuna mambo ambayo unaweza zikia, usikie tu, umezikia tu. It is good to understand easy mambo hii ni vita. So wazazi wakajua hii ni vita. Nimesikia kwamba kuanzia kesho watoto wote wa vijana ni ni kuua tu ni kuua tu. And I believe our wazazi. They ask God, God train me. Oh God, what will I do? This a dear child. Na vita imetangazwa. What do I do? And then God give them a, a training. Mnaweza kujukua mtoto wenu na muende karibu na mtu mficheni pale. And then baadaye muanze kumwangalia people of God. They are people who are against our life. Who are against our marriages. I know no 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 ikiwaonaga. Ni ndio watu unaonanga. But you don't know the spirit behind your marriage wakati mambo imetendeka even you don't realize ya kwamba hii ni vita come on wake up i say wake up and tell god god nataka unifundishe nataka niingie kwenye darasa lako na unifundishe hii vita nitapigana namna gani oh god you are the one who trained my hand for war the 
people of God. We have our dear children. Oh, we love them. People of God. Our children, they are the target of the enemy. You know, sometimes kuna mambo ambayo tunaona kwenye runinga lakini haituguzi kamwe yes haiwezi because he or she is not your child so you don't care tukizikia westrad ama for divorce walishikwa wakiwa na mbangi wakiwa na shashi na wakiwa na nini you don't care you say can i wado kira you don't care Marisa May God at us idea if it was your child now ulikuwa umeenda kazini because nowadays there is Facebook there is Instagram there is Twitter na wako na simu na wanapanga even in out of your presence na wanaingia kwenye nyumba yako people of God and then baadaye uone kwenye runinga nyumba yako oh may god forbid i say may god forbid the word of god it is painful mambo ambayo tunaona ni watoto wa watu ambao wamezaliwa na mwanamke na mwanaume and then baadaye monday wanapelekwa kotini nchi yetu ikiwa nchi yote ikiwa inawaangalia yule ni mtoto wa so and so people of god ni vita ni vita ya watoto ni vita ya their destiny unless mungu akufundishe jinsi ambavyo utapigana vita ya watoto the bible tells me job alikuwa anatoa sadaka kwa sababu ya watoto wake is a teaching people of god is a training god What do I need to do? Siwezi kumwangalia usiku na mchana. Mungu unless unifundishe jinsi ambavyo nitafanya kwa mtoto wangu. I know she is a target of a devil because of her destiny. If there's something that I need is a spiritual training. Sp- spiritual training ni Mungu alifundishe tu. Mungu litafanya nini? Kama Mungu utaniambia kwamba ni kesho na ni kuabudu. If God you say you are in your presence for one hour just to worship you because of my son, because of my daughter, I am ready, oh God. I am ready. It's a training. Let's continue. Psalm 140 verse 4 Someone 40 the bible saying keep me o lord from the heart of the wicked protect me from men of violence who plan to trip my feet ajua kuna watu ambao to trip your foot ni kushika mguu wako tulipokuwa shule tukitembea kwenye kwenye stairs ni ambaye alikuwa nyuma umetembea anashika anashika mguu wako and then baadaye unaanza kuyumba yumba and then baadaye unaanguka people of god they are people they are wicked people and the bible saying they they are plan ni vile ambavyo watakushika mguu wako ili ukaweza kuanguka keep me lord from the hand of the wicked i pray today god keep me lord from the wicked people i pray for your life today may god keep you from the hand of the wicked people protect them oh god from men of violence yani watu ambao kila kila saa dakika yote wanataka kuwa na fujo na wewe vita tu unaangalia sasa ni nini hii maji maji inafanya mtu atoe fujo ah uh-uh. let me tell you hapana naona maji ah uh-uh. there's something behind that 
there is something bigger behind that. That is just a scheme. That is just a plan. That is just a plan. I pray today, protect me from men of violence who plan to take my feet. What am I wanna panga? I pray, may God protect you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to prophesy over your life today. Ya kwamba, wale ambao wanagojia uanguke, hauta anguka. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mungu dia ambaya me kuinua, hata zidi kukuinua. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God protect you from the hand of the wicked. From the men of violence who surround you and who surround me in the name of Jesus. You know, I see some things. They are scheme. They are they are they are plan of the of the wicked. Nasikia mtu ati kwa sababu wali gobana na mtu pale kwenye proti kwa sababu ya maji. Nasikia badai ati yali mtusi. At the next moment, police did your how? Wame mshika. And then badai. Can I tell you the room? And then badai. Ame simama kwenye mbao. Mutu ambaye likuwa na vitu zake. Mutu ambaye likuwa na watoto. Alikuwa na walisha. Alikuwa na wapenda. And then badai. Can I tell you the room? Judge anasimama. Anasema oh so and so. Uli mtusi ma, tusi mambaya so and so bele ya watu. And so koti hii imekupata na hatua, na hatia. And so umefungwa meka kumina mbili. Kesi imefungwa. People of God, ukiwa pale ndani, unaza kujiuliza. Yani tap kwenye ma, tap ya maji. Nimefungiwa meka kumina mbili. Oh. Give me your Lord from the heart of the wicked. I pray today in the name of Jesus that may God protect you from the hand of the wicked. Protect you from men of violence who plan to trip your feet. Wale ambao wanapanga kushika mguu wako uanguke na Bwana kulinde katika jina la Yesu. Na mikono ya waovu isipate mguu wako katika jina la Yesu. Na mkono ya waovu isipate mguu ya watoto wako in the mighty name of Jesus. We have a destiny. Our future is great. I will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. I will eat the best of the land in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you today, you will eat the best of the land. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I say, may God protect you. People of God, let me tell you today. I tell you today, and hear the voice of God. Before you get into that deal, Tell God, God, train me, Lord. Tatamani mungu ni kai kwenye ndarasa lako. Nione kama ni tapita mungu kwenye hii deal. Mana deal zingini ambazo watu wanaingia. Ni deal za kumaliza watu. Na kumaliza destiny za watu. Na wena wabi yorona. Kiambia watu. Sasa niangalie. Mimi ntakuwa milionea. Eh. People of God Ni mungu tu wakusaidia na kufundishe Na baada ya kunene ya kuambia Toroka Toroka Chana hiyo deal Kava wika leo guole Kava dhali ukaevile uko Na ukue na amani Enda pale langata Uliza mama Anaitu wa sijiu wangali Kwa pale langata Alikuwa na uza magali And then jamana kuja na muambia Hey I know you can see you are doing good job. Ah. Ni kwa neema. So nataka tufanye kazi pamoja. Na niko na pesa. Na hata bila kuingia kwenye darasa. Naomba kuja. Then baadaye analetoa mafundisho ingine na ufalme wa Giza. Tunaweza leta gari moja na tuzia watu kama saba ama watu kumi na utajirike. 
Samhaya, sa good deal. Hai. Hata ni baadaye wakaanza biashara. Lakini waliuzia mtu mbaya. And then baadaye yule mama ndiye ambaye alishikwa. Huo mwingine akapotea. Baadaye anapata kifungo ya maisha pale ndani. The word of God. Unless Mungu alisaidie na anifundishe kama kuna watu ambao ninastahili kuondoa in my life na waondoka in the name of Jesus. Mimi nataka amani. Na usiende kwenye kambi ya shetani. Ah, wewe. We. Na usikubali shetani akuwe ni iba yako. Let me tell you. I know Mungu ni Mungu mwenye nguvu na anaweza mambo yote. By the way, Mungu alikuwa na nguvu na uwezo wa kulinda na to protect Yesu Kristo from the from the from the hand of Pharaoh. Lakini Bona alimwambia wazazi wake, "Hameni. Hameni kwa nini? Is a training people of God. People of God, I tell you today, kuna vita zingine ambazo hatutapigana. Kama ni kuhama, wacha ni hame. Kama ni kuhama, hama." Next verse. Proud men have hidden as near for me Mimi najua kuna mambo ambayo watu wanakuwekea ni mtego na hakuna kitu mbaya na hakuna kitu ambayo inakasilisha Mungu kama wale watu ambao wanapangia watu mabaya and people of God wacha nimwambie siku ya leo tunakaa na watu na tunawaamini sana even some of them Tunaweza kuwapatia mioyo yetu. Siri zetu zote hata za ndoa tunaweza kuwapatia. But we don't know. Ya kwamba hawa ndio watu ambao wanatuwekea mitego ili ikifika wakati ule tuanguke and then wasimame na washangilie. David I don't go because of David. And that is the reason why David David hakuna vita hata moja ambayo alishindwa alifaulu zote anapagiwa hii anaambia Mungu nifundishe sema God I praise you that you train my hand for war na nashinda proud men have hidden a snare for me they have spread out the cord of your net and have set trap for me along my path wala tuwekea zile ambazo ni nyavu they spread ili tukaweze kuingia pale I want to declare today ya kwamba hautakuwa samaki katika jina la Yesu zile nyavu ambazo tunawekewa and the wicked people I declare today in the name of Jesus hautakuwa samaki uwekewe nyavu in the name of Jesus I want to declare over your life today. Ya kwamba afya yako and your health hautawekewa nyavu na watu waovu in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to declare over your finances. Ya kwamba your finances hautawekewa nyavu na waovu in the mighty name of Jesus. Proud men have hidden a snare for me. They have spread out the cord of their net and have set trap for me along my path you know let me tell you people of god all of us there is a path for us all it's called a path of success a path of victory a path of of breakthrough and now shetani nani anajua kwamba kuna ushindi ambao uko mbele yako and then baadaye anajaribu kwenda mbele na kuwekea neti na riposa David akasema kwamba God protect me wame wameweza to spread so spread ni ku kuza, eh, kuzambaza wame eh, kuna kuna jina nyingine bado eh, yeah. kutandaza wametandaza zile nyavu za uovu mbele yangu ili waweze kunishika but i pray today may God protect you in the name of Jesus and i want to prophesy over your life today tunapoingia mwisho wa mwezi wa mwaka 
ya kwamba hautaingia kwenye nyabu za uovu in the name of Jesus your business your business haitaingia katika nyavu za waovu in the name of Jesus i prophesy to your children today hawataingia kwenye nyavu za uovu in the name of Jesus na Mungu awafiche may God protect them of God Si Mungu anifundishe Mungu tu anifundishe Vile ambavyo nitapigana vita hii Vita ya afya Mungu of God You know hata magojo zingine zinawekwa mbele <laughs> Na mtu ambaye is my friend Amekuwa sawa tu lakini the moment amefika pahali pa kununua prado aweze kufurahia sasa aende vizuri comfortable and then baadaye his pain inakataa na wakati alikuwa katika kule chini there's no problem there's no problem kuna mtego ambao iliwekwa mbele katika ile path ya success anawekewa net ya magonjwa ya the spinal the mumma meingia pale nasikia kuna kashida the next thing wanda shh paka india the next thing shh beer imekuwa kubwa the next thing hata ile prado hata ile nini nikuuza i pray today that may god protect you i say may god protect you and may god teach you may god train you vile ambavyo utapigana vita ya mwili wako na maisha yako na kesho yako kama Mungu atakufundisha kuambia kwamba inua mikono lala chini lala chini you don't know the time umeala chini na la chini ya mafundisho yake kuna upako kuna anointing ambayo napokea ambayo inaondoa uovu wote wa shetani in the name of Jesus give me the next verse O oh Lord I say to you you are my God Hear O oh Lord my cry for mercy David anaangalia mambo haya yote vile ambavyo yanapangiwa vile ambavyo yametendewa na mipango ya uovu anasimama anasema O oh God you are my God People of God it is I say it again It is a training ambayo haina watu wengi ambao wanaweza kusimama in the midst of all yani akijua vile ambavyo wamepangiwa mabaya vile ambavyo wadui wamegojea anguke and then baadaye usimame na Mungu aweke maneno yako nguvu kama Moses huyo ni Mungu ambaye ameenda training And I say, you are my God. It's a training people of God. There's nothing ambayo unaweza kuonyesha, but you can afford to stand and declare you are my God. Next verse. Oh sovereign Lord, my strong deliverer, who shield my hand in the day of battle all oh, sovereign lord my strong deliverer who shield my hand in the day of battle nionyeshe yule askari kubafu ambaye anaweza aenda vita bila bila shield bila shield ama ile ambayo inafunika kichwa wanaelewa kuna kitu ambayo ni muhimu sana ambayo iko hapa Everything is here. People of God, we are in a battle. Unless God shield our hand in the day of battle. And that is the reason why David he prayed to God. Kama wewe 
ndiye ulinzi wangu. You are my shield. And shield my hand in the day of battle. I pray to you God, I pray for you all. That may God shield your head in the day of battle. Because if God shield your head in the day of battle, already wa umeshinda. Next verse. Do not grant the wicked their desire, O oh Lord. Do not grant the wicked their desire in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you know there is a desire of the wicked? Do you know there is a desire of the wicked? People of God, and God, you are in that level. And that is the lowest level when you arrive in Jesus' name. I say, that is the lowest level when you arrive in Jesus' name. Unaenda juu. Now, kuna watu ambao ma, ma, wakiulizwa wanaweza kusema hata huyu akue bega. Ile kitupigia simu tunamudisa tuna point. David say, do not grant the wicked that your desire. That is our prayer today. God, do not grant the wicked their desire. Wale ambao wanatamani tufunge milango ya house of faith. God, do not grant their their desire. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, do not grant the desire of the wicked. Wale ambao wanagojea kampuni yako yende chini izame. Hey, I want to prophesy today. Haitazama, that is the desire of the wicked. But the desire of God, ni kwamba, you are going to flourish in the name of Jesus. Like a seed of Lebanon, you shall stay flesh and green in the name of Jesus. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? It's called the desire of the wicked. God will not grant the, the plan and the desire of the wicked. Yani mtu anagojea tu na ana wish tikatagedhi na ahale. Yeah? Yani maji kuna watu ambao they are desire at their chotoe. Yani because umenunua gari and now they are desire at the chotoe. Wanaanza kuongea oh ni Aaron. Si hata wewe ndio uchukue hiyo room. Kama ni Aaron. Sawa tu ni Aaron. Is kwa by the ni kweli ni Aaron. Hata wewe enda uchukue hiyo room. People of God, mambo zingine it is by the grace of God. Hata hiyo room kupewa it is the grace of God. If the hand of God was so not upon that loan sige pewa huge pewa lakini Mungu aliushika na nikapewa na ukapewa to God be all the glory woe unto them ambao nagojea i know my god will provide my god shall provide her. your god shall provide her. hautaanguka you will pay to the last installment in the name of Jesus because you are God who will provide by the desire of the wicked haitatimia ngo shetani utasikia hivyo you are desire na wale watu ambao umetuma mipango yao yote haitafanikiwa katika jina la Yesu i'm telling you today i'm telling you today <laughs> kama ile kama kana ita go hit kana ita go doi ina gojea mnyama aangushe nyama kufuatilia kutufuatilia by the way unajua kuna watu wengine ambao wanafuatilia mambo ya watu eh kila mara anaidaje ja, sijui jana je a a unafuatilia mtu wa nini achana na watu wewe fanya mambo yako fanya huduma yako fanya biashara yako hapana fuatilia watu praise the lord na wakiomba mambo mengine hapo 
Mambo gani ambayo unafanya? Siombea mtu mazuri. Plea ya kwamba afanikiwe. And even utabarikiwa. Praise the Lord. Do not gun the wicked their desire, oh Lord. Do not let their plans succeed. I pray today the plan of the wicked will never succeed in my life and even your life. Yaani unaombea watoto wa mtu mwingine tawakuya wambaya. Alafu, you know some things are funny. Wakiwa wambaya alafu inakufaidi nini? Inakufaidi nini? Wakati ambapo una una, una desire mambo mabaya kwa mtu mwingine. Let me tell you today. Kasoma wake hawezi kuwa kasoma wako. Kasoma wako ni wako. Vitu zako ni zako. Memba wa huku ni wa house of faith. So sina tamaa. Oh hallelujah. I pray today. May God, may God protect you from the wicked people. Give me the last verse. Verse 9. Let the head let the head of those who surround me be covered with the trouble their lips have caused. Those people ambao wanatuzunguka wana nena mambo mabaya na mambo maovu. Pray today may God protect us. People of God, we need a spiritual training. Mungu tu atufundishe. Hizi vita vile ambavyo tutazipigana. Kwa sababu Mungu ni Mungu. Na Mungu amekalia kiti cha enzi. Na Mungu kuna uwezo, kuna nguvu. Lakini ametupatia dunia hii. Na kama kutakuwa na ushindi ni kwa sababu ametufundisha. Next year kuna exam ya class 8 form 4 and grade 4. Lakini ni kwa sababu wamefundishwa na vile ambavyo wamefundishwa wanapokalia mtihani ule watakumbuka waandike and then baadaye tusikie kwamba wamefaulu even us kufaulu kwetu kuna tegemea mafundisho ambayo tumepata we are praying to God today that God train me Train my hand for what? In Jesus' name. You can stand on your feet in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. We give you all the glory, God. We give you all the glory, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. This morning.